killed it. I could have made that, I just, I ended up on a crappy line. It happens while everything is booting up. Let's talk about falling. It's not a big deal, you know? As long as you're not breaking things or hurting yourself, you're gonna fall over. Like, these are not easy routes. You shouldn't be having big ones all the time. Tip overs and stuff, especially in pretty technical terrain like that. Yeah, they're gonna happen. A lot of new riders, especially new to off-road riders, get super embarrassed or stressed out when they fall over. And I get it, like, yeah, it's frustrating to fall over. You gotta pick the bike up again, and, and you never see the pros fall. You know, that's one of the reasons why I do show my falls. You know, a lot of times you'll never see the pro riders struggle or fall over or whatever. And that's fine, you know. Most of the time when they're doing stuff, they're doing it to demonstrate the abilities of a bike or themselves or both. get through this. Okay. But yeah, you just see pros flying through stuff at warp nine like it's no big deal. And so you think you should be able to do that too. Well, there's a few things going on. They have multiple takes. If they get it wrong, they can reset and do it again. You know, if I wanted to make myself look like the biggest Billy Badass on an adventure bike, I could do it. I'm doing my editing. I don't have to show you me struggling. I choose to because it's more honest and it's part of the experience of adventure riding. I am not a professional rider. Hell, I make no claims of really even being an expert rider. Yeah, don't get upset about falling. Pros do it too. It just doesn't normally get shown to the public because it doesn't further the narrative of the perfect rider. You're gonna fall over on this stuff. <laughs> you, you just are. 